design of the rectangular axis beam has been to fit to stand of the means 4.8 to stop. It carries a UDL of 14.19 kN per meter, including self weight. So, all this stand to stop. Take width of beam is 230 mm and use M20 grade of concrete and AP415 grade of steel. So, this data it is given for designing the singly reinforced beam. So, first of all, write down the given data. So, first of all, Fit to stand LE eight degree is equal to four point eight meter. Then it carries a UDL that is W eight is given UDL fourteen point one nine, including self weight of B, including self weight of B. Then for the spanning, okay, take width of B it is given B is equal to two thirty m. Width of B B is equal to two thirty m, and then Use M20 grade of concrete. Next characteristic is compression strength of concrete. It is given FCK. Call it is FCK is equal to 20 Newton per mm square. Then grade of steel it is given FP415. That is steel strength. F5 is equal to 415 Newton per mm square. This data it is given for designing of singly reinforced. Okay. So first of all. Step number one, factored load. Step number one, factored load. Factored load. Okay. That is in bracket W U. W U. So for that, W U is equal to W into one point five. Okay. So we multiply by given load to one point five. That is your factored load. So 14.19 into 1.5 into 1.5. Okay, we so get the factor load. So that is WU is equal to WU is equal to. Twenty-one point two eight five. Twenty-one point two eight five kilo newton per This is factor load. Then step number two, factor bending moment. Step number two, factor bending moment. Step two, factor bending moment. Factor bending moment. Okay. That is, this beam it is simply supported beam. The span it is. Simply supported beam. And uniformly distributed load it is given. Uniformly distributed load. This load it is 14.19. 14.19 kilo newton per meter, inclusive self. Stand it is given. If it's a stand it is given 4.8. Fit to span it is given 4.8 meter. Four point eight. Four point eight meter. Okay. Four point eight. Factor bending moment for simply supported beam. M U is equal to M U is factor bending moment is equal to and the beam it is simply supported W U into L E square L E square divided by A with the factored bending moment and the beam it is simply supported. 
So W it is twenty one point two eight five into L it is four point eight four point eight square divided by divided by eight divided by eight. The factor bending moment. The factor bending moment. Let's try it down. M is equal to M is equal to and two one point two eight five into L eight is four point eight square divided by eight. Sixty one point three zero zero one point three zero zero kilo kilo newton meter. I will note down this. Okay, and this is equal to sixty one point three zero zero kilometer meter. Okay, then step number three, dimensions of thing. Step number three, dimensions of thing. Step three, dimensions of thing. Dimensions of thing. Width of beam it is given two thirty. So for that, equate equate M U is equal to M U limit. Equate M U is equal to M U limit. M U limit. Okay. So M U is equal to M U limit. Okay. So M U it is sixty one point three zero zero. M U is sixty one point three zero into ten to the six. Ten to six. Newton m. So M U limiting for F E four one five is point one three eight into F C K into B into D. This this one point three zero zero ten to the six zero two point one three eight F C K B D square. So T one point three zero zero into ten to the power six is equal to point one three eight. The FCK is weight of concrete is M20 into width of beam it is given 230 mm. Then D square. As you know, it is D. From this relation, calculate. So M U T 61.300 into Into ten into ten to the six is equal to point one three eight. FCK is twenty and B is two thirty mm. D square. Calculate the effective depth from this. Get the effective depth from this formula. Ten to the six divided by point one three eight. FCK is twenty. B is two thirty. And go to C one zero point seven five. D is equal to D is equal to C one zero point seven five. C one zero point seven five. I will note down this value. D is equal to C one zero point seven five mm. And we will get effective depth from this. The next area of steel in tension. Next step. Area of steel in tension. Step number four. Area of steel in tension. Step number. Area of steel in tension. In tension. Area of steel in tension. Okay. So we know that formula A S T is equal to point five F C K. Point five F C K. Divided by 
step y. This is standard formula. Y. In that case, in that case, one minus root of one minus four point six. 4.6 into mu mu divided by fck bd square fck bd square fck bd square in bracket b into d in bracket B into D. Okay. Put all this value here. My HT is equal to point five. Fcat is twenty divided by Fy it is four one five. One five in back here. In back here. One minus root of one minus four point six. Four point six into mu. Mu it is sixty one point three zero zero. Into ten raised to the power six. Power six divided by FCK BD square. Divided by FCK. FCK is twenty. Into D it is two thirty mm, and D it is three one zero seven five one zero one seven five. Back it goes B into D. Back it goes B into D. So B it is two thirty into three one zero point seven five. Okay. So we get the EST from this formula. So just calculate it. Just calculate this one. So first of all, solve this data on your calculator. Okay, four point six into Sixty-one point three zero zero into ten raised to the power six divided by twenty into two thirty into three one zero. This one it is actually back to square. Three one zero square. Make it one minus answer root of. One minus answer into two thirty into three one zero into make it point five divided by twenty divided by four one five. So get this six eighty four. This time we cross check this value. Six eighty four point one nine. Correct. So we have today six eighty four. Six eighty four mm square. Six eighty four mm square. Third number of bars now. Number of bars. Number of bars. I don't. I do. Sixteen mm diameter of bar. I think sixteen mm diameter of bar. I think sixteen mm diameter of bar. So area for sixteen mm A five. A five. Five by four into sixteen square. I know. 
four into sixteen square. This is area for one bar. Okay, area for one bar. A five. It will be get this value five by four into sixteen square. This one two zero one two zero one mm square. And mm square. Number of bars is equal to number of bars equal to AST divided by A. AST by AST by A. AST will be six eighty four. Six eighty four divided by a five. Area of it for one bar. So two zero one. Two zero one. This is the number of bars. Okay. So six eighty four divided by two zero one. It will be near about three point four zero. Three point four zero. So on the figure it will be four bars. Four bars. Okay. So now next step. Next step. Oral depth of bridge. Oral depth of bridge. Step number six. Step number six. Oral depth of bridge. Oral depth of bridge. Oral depth of capital D is equal to small d plus plus cover plus cover plus pi by diameter of bar divided by two pi by two. So small d it is small d we have calculated this one it is three one zero three one zero point seven five plus assume cover first of all assume the cover assume assume twenty five mm cover twenty five mm cover okay. so capital D is equal to capital D small d it is three one zero point seven five plus cover it is Twenty-five plus diameter of bar it is. We are assuming diameter of bar it is sixteen mm. Okay. So C one zero, C one zero point seven five plus twenty-five plus sixteen. Sixteen by two. This one. Sixteen by two. Sixteen by two. This is eight. Element is eight. So three. Three forty three point seven five. Small d is three forty three point three forty three point three forty three point seven five mm. So on the figure, we will take this d is equal to three fifty mm. Three fifty mm. Capital D is. This is three forty three point seven five m. Round figure it will be take three fifty m. This one it is the design of singly reinforcement beam.